All right, Miguel. So, a couple little other things I want to point out to you here real quick. Let me grab a chopstick. Um, one thing I added is this little guy right here. This is a bleeder resistor. So what happens is when you turn the power off, these guys are going to have all kinds of voltage hanging in them. Up to, you know, 410 volts. What happens with this resistor right here, since I know you know a little something about this stuff, this is a 220K 3 watt resistor. It takes the power or the residual voltage from the hot side and it dumps it to ground. But when the amp's on, this is basically not in effect. So, um, you know, most fender amps have bleeders in them, except deluxes and deluxe reverbs and things like that. So I went ahead and put one in there just as a little safety precaution in case you get inside this guy. Um, here's your double pull, double throw switch. I threw a 100K resistor on there to kind of help it from popping when you switch it between uh, channels. Uh, same holds true here on your standby switch. You'll see a big resistor there, same deal there to keep it from popping. Uh, all shielded cable right here for your inputs. Um, there they are. I use uh, some of the more modern resistors in areas like this because I know that those uh, are places that you might get noise. Uh, there's your bright cap, treble cap right there. Just kind of leave that guy in place. Um, this resistor right here, your cathode resistor, dropped down to 330k or ohms uh, from 250 on the schematic. This will cool your tubes off a little bit because these guys have a tendency to run hot and wear out tubes. Uh, you can always play around with this. If you wanted to put it a little higher in there, I would recommend you leave it the way I built it. But that's the beauty of these guys. Um, but anyway, there's your gut shot. Um, all these uh, coupling caps here that you see that are 0 .05, uh, the originals are 0 .1. Uh, this will uh, dump a lot of that farty base out of there. Okay. Uh, other change to this circuit is these little electrolytics right here. This is a first bypass capacitor. Um, the uh, the stock one that goes in there is a 22-250, or I'm sorry, a 22 microfarads at 50 volts. This is a 4.7. Uh, so this also helps uh, tonality-wise with the uh, normal channel, and it kind of keeps it from uh, like going into distortion mode you know, on one and a half or two, like, like most Tweed Deluxes do. So this gives you a little bit of breathing room if you want to play clean. And, uh, and with this channel switch right here, you're going to enjoy uh, being able to get back and forth between the two. But anyway, so there it is. Uh, enjoy the amp, standby switch right here. This is play, so towards the switch is play. This way is standby. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, have a good time with it. I think it's going to sound great with your Princeton. All right, buddy. See you, bye.